This video is about computing zero coupon bond using Excel. We have the following question. A zero coupon bond with a face value of $10,000 that matures in 5 years and the yield to maturity is 6%. In cell B1, insert face value of $10,000. In cell B2, insert number of years to maturity of 5 years. In cell B3, insert annual coupon rate of 0% because it is a zero coupon bond. In cell B4, insert annual yield to maturity of 6%. The first part of the question is, calculate annual coupon payment. Coupon payment is calculated as face value times coupon rate. In cell B5, write equal B1 times B3. Press enter. We will get the annual coupon payment of zero. There is no coupon payment because this is a zero coupon bond. The second part of the question is. Calculate the current value of this bond. Bond price is the present value of all future cash flows of annual coupon payment and face value. There is a negative relationship between bond price which is a cash outflow and annual coupon payments and face value which are a cash inflow. In cell B6, write equal. Insert negative sign. Write PV open bracket. Write the rate of B4 which stands for yield to maturity. Write comma. Write the number of payments of B2 which stands for number of years to maturity. Write comma. Write the periodic payment of B5 which stands for annual coupon payment. Write comma. Write the future value of B1 which stands for face value. Write comma. Press enter. We will get the bond price of $7,472.58. The third part of the question is. This bond is trading at premium, PAR, or discount. We know that if yield to maturity is lower than coupon rate, so this is a premium bond, consequently face value is lower than bond price. If yield to maturity is equal to coupon rate so this is a PAR bond, consequently face value is equal to bond price. If yield to maturity is greater than coupon rate so this is a discount bond, consequently face value is greater than bond price. In cell B7, write equal. If. Open bracket. B4 equal B3. Comma. Quotation mark, PAR, another quotation mark. Comma. If. Open another bracket. B4 less than B3. Comma. Quotation mark, premium, another quotation mark. Comma. Quotation mark, discount, another quotation mark. Close first bracket. Close second bracket. Press enter. We will get a discount bond. The fourth part of the question is. What happens to the bond price over time until it reaches maturity? In case of a premium bond bond price will decrease every period until it reaches face value at maturity. In case of a PAR bond, bond price stays constant at face value every period until it reaches maturity. In case of a discount bond, bond price will increase every period until it reaches face value at maturity. In cell B8, write equal. If. Open bracket. B4 equal B3. Comma. Quotation mark. Constant, another quotation mark. Comma. If. Open another bracket. B4 less than B3. Comma. Quotation mark, decrease, another quotation mark. Comma. Quotation mark, increase, another quotation mark. Close first bracket. Close second bracket. Press enter. We will get bond price increases over time. The fifth part of the question is. Calculate the current yield. Let's first state the relationship between yield to maturity and current yield, then calculate the current yield. In case of a zero coupon bond, current yield is equal to zero. In case of a premium bond, yield to maturity is lower than current yield. In case of a PAR bond, yield to maturity is equal to current yield. In case of a discount bond, Yield to maturity is greater than current yield. In cell B9, write equal. If. Open bracket. B3 equals 0. Comma. 
quotation mark, cy equals zero, another quotation mark, comma, if, open another bracket, b4 equal b3, comma, quotation mark, ytm equals cy, another quotation mark, comma, if, open another bracket, b4 less than b3, comma, quotation mark, ytm lower than cy, another quotation mark, comma, quotation mark, ytm greater than cy, another quotation mark, close first bracket, close second bracket, close third bracket, press enter, we will get current yield equals to zero because this is a zero coupon bond, since there is no coupon payment, so there will be no current yield. Current yield is calculated as coupon rate divided by bond price. In cell B10, write equal B5 which is the annual coupon amount divided by B6 which is the bond price. Press enter. We will get current yield of 0%. The sixth part of the question is. Calculate capital gain yield. Let's first state the relationship between yield to maturity and capital gain yield, then calculate capital gain yield. In case of a zero coupon bond, capital gain yield is equal to yield to maturity. In case of a premium bond, capital gain yield is negative. In case of a PAR bond, capital gain yield is zero. In case of a discount bond, capital gain yield is positive. In cell B11, write equal. If. Open bracket. B3 equals zero. Comma. Quotation mark. CGY equal YTM, another quotation mark, comma, if, open another bracket, B4 equal B3, comma, quotation mark, zero, another quotation mark, comma, if, open another bracket, B4 less than B3, comma, quotation mark, negative, another quotation mark, comma, Quotation mark, positive, another quotation mark. Close first bracket. Close second bracket. Close third bracket. Press enter. We will get capital gain yield equals to yield to maturity because this is a zero coupon bond. Since current yield is zero, so capital gain yield will be equal to yield to maturity. Capital gain yield is calculated through two ways. We will use the shortcut one here, which is yield to maturity minus current yield. In cell B12, write equal. B4 which is yield to maturity minus B10 which is current yield. Press enter. We will get capital gain yield of 